off, you know, I didn't know it was gonna be third round KO. You know, I I was ready to go a long night, but opportunity <laughs> presented itself, and I, I took it. What did the Big G think? Big G, what did you think? No, pues sabíamos que era un peleador fuerte pensábamos que iba a durar un poco más porque pues, siempre lo considerábamos un, un peleador con buena pegada y fuerte pero pues Mike pega muy fuerte y lo agarró bien y terminó la pelea We were prepared for a hard fight, we knew this guy had a lot of power we didn't think it was going to end that soon you know, this guy was very dangerous but Mikey, Mikey showed that, uh, that he's got a lot more power I thought the guy was dead I thought he was out of like when you he didn't get up for a while. You know, when 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 he first went out, Mike and myself we we you know, we were happy, we celebrated. But then once we seen that he was uh, he was still on the floor and the, you know there were uh, the medicals and the doctor was there. Then that's when you know we we stopped celebrating. We, you know we we definitely don't wish anybody bad luck. You know I tried to go and you know and uh, and you know take off his gloves. You try to get him you know a little more more uh, more air. But, uh, you know, uh, he got up, he's good. We're glad that he's fine, you know, we just don't wish anybody bad. Hey, yeah. Mikey, you, you were circling to your left like you're supposed to do against the softball. You completely took away his left, and you was out jabbing him while moving to the left. Did you feel at that point it was just so easy to avoid his punches? Because it looked like he almost got frustrated. He couldn't land that left. I was uh, doing what I had to do, you know, stick to the game plan, circle left, get away from his left. But uh, he's always dangerous because, you know, at any given moment he could, you know, land a good shot. So I had to be careful. Mm -hmm. It's not that I was thinking it was going to be easy, mm -hmm. but I had to stick to the game plan. Um, like I said, when, when that opportunity came and, and I landed that right hand that hurt and put him down, you know, I just took advantage of that. Who's but next? Anybody. Is Mike, anybody is, can get it. Five, you know, is Garcia versus five. Crawford the next super fight? That's possibly a big, huge fight you know, for the future. We can probably get to work on that one. Yeah. Under the bright lights, how did you feel under the full lightweight official? You know, I feel very comfortable at this division. I feel happy. You know, I feel fast, strong. My energy is great. I don't, I don't feel like you know, the weight issue is, is a problem at all. Regarding the lights I and mean, the, the fans, and, you know, I just take all that in and that just helps me more. You know, after being out for, for as long as you were, you seem really very confident early in this fight. I mean, you started to take control early. I thought that was part of the game plan, you know, take control early, dictate the pace, you know, and the distance of the fight. Um, and I was able to start that right away the first round, using my left, using the jab, little short hooks to keep them at a distance, and try to follow up with the right hand, which we did uh, uh, several times. How do you celebrate? Tonight, uh, we're gonna be hanging out with some friends and family. Um, normally I don't do anything really, but I got some friends inviting me to a nightclub tonight. Robert, you passed Phil Jackson. You got 11 now. No, no, but there's still 10. Oh, and, like, you know, world champions, but world, world titles. World titles, I'm like, like, about 15, about 15. <laughs> Hey, Mike, I, I just finished talking to Jorge Linares. He shows a special interest in the fight, obviously. He has a fight yeah. coming up. I asked him about it. He's excited now. I mean, he saw your uh, performance. And then... I would love an opportunity to fight Tyler Linares. He's uh, a great champion. You know, has done it, you know, more than like, three or four times now. He's a champion. So, I would love an opportunity to unify Tyler Linares. I think that would be a great matchup. I know you, you, you talked about also yeah. if, in the future maybe facing him, too. Uh, comes out victorious after the Corolla rematch and we can uh, sit down and make it make it happen. I would really love that. Pensaste que iba a ser tan rápido el No, no pensé que iba a ser tan rápido, pero la oportunidad se presentó y pues voy a hacer todo para aprovechar. Este, yo pensaba que la pelea iba a durar más. Es un peleador aguerrido, fuerte y aún así en los primeros dos rounds noté que estaba fuerte y le corrigí unos golpes, pero me respondía y me you're, You're watching, watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing, Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs>